Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. For nothing was made that was not made by him. Are we together now? The Bible says in the beginning, listen carefully. It didn't say in the beginning was a formula. In the beginning was the word. And that word was with God. And that word was God. He said he was with God in the beginning. Then he says through him all things were made. And he says nothing including a destiny. Nothing was made that was not by him. So Satan knows that the making factor in men's lives is the word. So when he comes to this gentleman, he doesn't have any business with your tie or whatever. He looks for where the word is. And the Bible says, Satan cometh immediately. If Satan steals the word from you, you will pass him and he will pass you. He has no business with you again. It is the one thing that he will seek and fight for. Show me a man, my brothers and my sisters, listen very carefully. No matter what Satan has done in your life, if the word of God can come upon you, if the word of God can be understood and received and diligently applied with faith, you will make nonsense out of the devil. It's only a matter of time. Is someone getting what I'm saying? Because you see, we have to be careful. Church people right now don't grow again because we are used to the religious activity of the world we come and sit down and our bios we are writing notes that can change our lives but there is a demon of religion sitting on people many people have written their miracles in their jota and yet they remain in bondage many have written the formula for their lifting and yet it looks like heavens are closed many have written the formula for their prosperity many have written the formula that will wipe the tears of their family the bible says ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth so don't get used to religion oh it's time for the word oh yeah let's judge acts chapter this we write if it's a nice word you say mm preach preacher and all those kinds of things we share the grace and people go back and nothing changes let me tell you religion is a demon it's not just a wrong philosophy i believe there is a spirit of religion that makes people hang around god but never benefit from him are we together now yes you can get so used to do i invited sister a i invited brother b and you sit down and don't get blessed yourself or i am a worker you can be standing behind the mic singing when i raise a song and the revelation that can transform your destiny comes and you sing it out of your life while you are not listening and focusing so we have to be sensitive my brothers and my sisters god is not a magician there is an exact way men are raised in this kingdom. Can you cry in one minute again and say, I cause distraction from my life. Lord, whatever it is that makes that I do not understand. You can imagine how brilliant people are, but the moment the word comes, they become unfruitful to it. That means it's an attack. I don't believe anybody here is dull. Some of us, academically speaking, we are very sound people. 
but the moment it comes to the issue of the word there is an attack please pray please pray please pray hallelujah praise the lord this kingdom life that we are living is a supernatural life and it's a life that will continue to call for contention that is the reason why you can finish an encyclopedia but not be able to read 100 pages from your bible what is so difficult about this thing that you cannot read is because there is a spirit behind it I can give you a novel that is twice this page and some of you will finish it in one week and you don't have time it's not that you sit down and you will keep reading and within one week you are done but you pick this to read and see what happens you will it will be a miracle if you cross 10 pages of this doesn't matter what part that means there is a spirit that opens this for you it's amazing how you can sit down and open your bible and open side by side with even a christian book and you would rather read the christian book nothing is wrong with it you are reading it but just to sit and read this one raw every demon from hell will fight you because this word you see let me tell you whether you understand what he's saying or not the moment your eyes make contact with this word something starts happening to your spirit and that's the reason why when the word of god is about being taught somebody who already slept in the afternoon the spirit of slumber just comes on the person you see that as soon as the service is over he can stand behind a car and discuss politics for two hours so it was never about tiredness it was about an attack on the word you heard the testimony of the dear lady here she came and sat down as soon as praise and worship was over the fire from the praise and worship made those spirits you see evil spirits are real please let's 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 not fool ourselves let us know this world we live in we are not alone are we together that you sit down from the start to the finish of a service is a miracle it's a sign that god is doing something in your life you see people you see what happens during miracle service the moment prayers are about to offer, you want to ease yourself. You want to do something. Ah, I feel uncomfortable. It's a lie. It's an agitation. These spirits are seeing beyond dimensions that your eyes can see. So they know what is happening in the realm of the spirit as the power of God is about to be released. And they will cause every discomfort. Some of you who drag people here to come and repent, notice how well behaved they are. As soon as the praise and worship starts, they just say, I, I, I'm tired, I want to go. It's a lie, they are not tired. The spirit that needs to be casted out. You see that? Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, if someone invites you here and you ever get to this ground or connect, it's a sign that your miracle has started. Because the kind of attack, you try it one day, and you will see that somebody who would ordinarily give you money will say, sorry, I don't have any money for anything. Just to leave Kaduna and come. It's an attack. Are we together now? But you have a responsibility to refuse. The will of man is respected even by demons. Yes, sir. If God respects your will, then every other force on earth must respect your will. If they usurp your will, they manipulated you in a way that allowed them to find expression. I set before you life and death. I set before you blessing and cursing. I can't force you. I can only advise you. Choose life. You don't choose life just by verbalizing it. You choose life by paying the price to sit down and do the things that minister life. Are we together? Help us tonight, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Some of you here need to go on a project. Just gather strategic koinonia messages that relate to certain areas in your life. The media will be more than glad to help you. Are we together? You put these teachings together and you go on a word fast. Let me tell you what that means. You will eat. There are many kinds of fasting. 
most people only know the one that you suspend eating for 12 hours or some days but there is a way you can go on a movie fast that means you off every movie you can go on a phone fast off your phone it's, it's a way of fasting are we together and then you can have time for the word that the only thing your ear hears for a whole day is a message not somebody calling you ah how are you mm -mm. the only thing that you hear aside from bikes driving themselves out is the word of god you sit down and say lord my life must change what is the key you hear one message you hear part of the key it can be a message you've always had but now because you are giving god your attention fire comes from heaven and that's it you catch something you will come out of that place knowing that i've gotten this when you say they will laugh at you until the results bail you out please give your destiny time you heard what the dear lady said wonderful lady by the way i'm busy nobody is busy it's a lie we are looking for something nobody is busy if you're on your way going to Kaduna this night and i say hold on somebody wants to give you one million are you busy talk to me no so the idea of being busy means i have not yet come to an understanding that the word of god is profitable so please let me leave it aside while i look for the things that look profitable nobody leaves what gives you profit so if you do not have time for the word it's a revelation it's a sign that in your dealings with god you have not been quickened to a point where you have seen the value and the profitability of the word of god so you can throw away the word of god and watch film i'm, I'm not please don't get me wrong i'm not against movies but i'm telling you there is a devil out there that is demeaning the power of the word of god and we choke all kinds of things in our heads and with it spirits come create fortifications and then this is what we say because we believe that just hanging around the word of god will produce result we will get angry and say i've done everything i know to do you see that i've done everything i prayed every prayer i attended this i even fasted god is unfair it's not true everybody that gives god time must get something from him if you give me time your life will never be the same give satan time your life will never be the same one of the reasons why we never see his outstretched arm is because we don't give god time i'm busy i'm too busy i'm, I'm busy it's demonic my soul wait thou upon the lord because my brothers and my sisters all that we are looking for one visitation from god can give you something that in a lifetime you may never get preacher say it but it is true I will search for you and I will find you and I will find you with all my heart I will lift my hands to you in worship and I will worship with all my heart we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our heart we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all our heart one more time let me just sing the song that i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my love and i will lead my voice to you in worship I will worship with all my heart. I want you to sit quietly tonight and listen to what I want to teach you. Sit with your soul 
your spirit your ears and listen God knows ask him that I love you with all my heart my philosophy of leadership is that you are a failed leader until the people you lead become exceptionally successful by every standard are we together now so it doesn't matter whether it's a revelation yet to me I must insist until it speaks in your life because you see the Bible says wisdom is justified by her children by her children Genesis chapter 2 Genesis chapter 2 Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those of you worshiping for the first time, God bless you. We we'll honor you at the end of the service. For now, let's get to the word of God. Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. Genesis 2, verse 15. Genesis 2 verse 15 what is this that I see I command that spirit to live now I command the Lord just showed me something I command that spirit you just allow me to do my madness I command that spirit you must let this family go now I command that spirit you must let this family go now the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit it says and where the spirit of the Lord is the same, I'm seeing two people to overflow one. I command that spirit to go now. You are leading right now. This chain that has held this family is time for them to testify. I command that spirit to lead in the name of Jesus Christ. I command that spirit to lead. There is still one more person. The Lord is not allowing me to continue. In the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to lead. You have to go. This is Mount Zion. Shakaporosi katala hasiada. Shadabraska deketibala hasiada. You know, one of the things that happens, let me teach you something. Do you know when God opens your eyes in the spirit, you will be able to know when, let me tell you what happens. When God opens my eyes now in the spirit, I will not only see an individual sitting, I will also see the spirits connected to them. You see? Yes. And usually, because the eye is the light of the body, once there is that contact, there is an agitation in the realm of the spirit. And that's why sometimes someone can just be looking quietly and start shouting. The individual doesn't know what just transacted in the realm of the spirit. Remember the demons looked at Jesus. And they saw the body of a 33 year old young man but when they looked, they said ah no are you not and Jesus said keep quiet so you can see beyond just an individual sitting that's what just happened now you'll be surprised now these people will come and testify and tell you for 10 years nobody has risen in our family and that's it Genesis chapter 2 and verse 15 Please follow me carefully. Let's see how God will grant us grace to make progress. And the Lord God took the man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress and to keep it. 16. And the Lord God commanded the man saying, listen, of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat. 17. But of the tree of the knowledge, the tree of the knowledge, not a knowledge, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil shall thou not eat. For in the day that you eatest thereof, you will die. Now listen carefully. Jesus is giving a disclaimer here. He's giving man access to the garden. Are we together now? And he's giving man a disclaimer that in this garden there are many trees. I give you access to partake. 
the word eat there doesn't just mean eat alone it means to partake of the benefits that come with that privilege it says that there is a kind of tree that he forbids it's amazing that even the tree that is forbidden has good now listen carefully the tree has what yet is part of the forbidden tree so he says this tree doesn't have evil alone there are many good things that can come from this tree yet there is a reason why i forbid you from partaking and this is the reason that the day you eat that tree regardless of the good it carries that day you will die look up the day man ate of this did he die in as much as we know death adam did not die eve did not die that means he was talking about something else in the day not in the month remember until this time he had created time and seasons so he says in the day the moment you partake this death starts for you listen carefully and then in spite of the fact that it comes with good notice the marketing system of the tree it projects good first then evil not evil and good the character of this tree is such that when you come you will never know there is evil on it the system is good and evil even god acknowledges that the tree had good are we together now genesis chapter 3 we'll read from verse 1 let's see to verse 7 very quickly and then we'll have a very serious discussion tonight and pray the lord is giving us wisdom verse 1 now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the lord god had made and he said unto the woman listen satan is talking now yea had god said ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden verse 2 and the woman said unto the serpent we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden verse 3 but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden because the woman was not there when God was telling the man this tree has good and evil Adam just told her that this is a tree in the midst of the garden and so she's replying Satan now God had said ye shall not eat neither shall ye touch lest ye die for and the serpent said to the woman ye shall not surely die for God doth know so we're talking of knowledge here remember now the tree of the knowledge the tree of the knowledge there is knowledge in the tree the central thing there is knowledge not fruit knowledge the tree of the knowledge are we together now if you have the tree of the knowledge of banana that tree will not when you eat banana from that tree it teaches you something the tree is a lecturer the fruit in the tree can teach men certain things are you getting what i'm saying now and now he's saying that god knows that in the day remember all of this will happen in a day both the death and this that you eat thereof the first thing is that your eyes shall be opened that means a kind of illumination will come to you and then ye shall be as what as gods knowing good and evil wow that means one characteristic feature between gods is that they have a supply of knowledge and the power to use that knowledge to produce good to produce evil are we together now that whoever can manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of good and manipulate knowledge and bring an outcome of evil is no longer a man he didn't say he's the god of heaven but he said this one is not man 
Are you getting the discussion now? Knowing good and evil. Verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was what? Now notice she didn't see anything evil again. The tree is walking now. This is how the tree works. What did the woman see? Good for food. And it was pleasant to the eyes. And the tree desired to make one wise. What kind of wisdom? We don't know. But we know that there is wisdom in the tree. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave unto her husband with her. And he did eat. You see that Adam was there. With her. Next verse. And truly like Satan said. The eyes of them both were what? Open. So he didn't entirely lie. He said this tree can open your eyes. But he didn't say what that open eye will do. And so their eyes were open and they knew that they were naked and they sewed fig leaves and all of that and all of that. Now when you read all the drama that happened, when God came down and said, man, what is happening? He said, this woman, blah, blah, blah. Just let's go to verse 11. I'll read just verse 11 and then I'll begin to teach. And he said, who told you that you were naked? Then he said, hast thou because this knowledge you should not have gotten it there is no way as a man without an assistance your knowledge is limited although you are a man without sin this should not be given to you then he says have you eaten of the tree and he says i commanded you not to eat you read on and he said the woman you put the woman said the serpent and he was angry and began to curse them but something interesting happened he said man has become like one of us just follow me man has become like one of us i thought the bible says he created man image and after his likeness now god is saying something is wrong man has become like one of us and for that we will not allow him in this state to eat of the tree of life again because if it takes of the tree of life you know the tree of life was designed to keep you living in whatever state you are so now that this guy's the whole plan has been corrupted if we allow him to eat of the tree of life then redemption will no longer be possible so let's drive him out so that it can be possible to redeem this man are we together now please sit down right from genesis we see that there is a fight for knowledge the bible tells us that the first tree listen carefully the first tree was not called the tree of the knowledge of life it was called the tree of life but the second tree works by giving men information that it supplies you an information that gives your life good but with it eventually it destroys you are we together now Jesus there is a tree of the knowledge of good and evil that is interwoven in this system this cosmos that we live in please listen very carefully many people like Eve have not received the miracle of understanding to discern that the trees that they continue to partake of are poisonous trees that are ministering death to their destinies and death to their lives and so my exhortation really tonight is a wake-up call to open your eyes to something very deep about the destruction that is happening to many people that they do not know they continue to die daily not as paul said by their continual connection with this tree and that you will never be able to do much for the kingdom until you understand this in the name of jesus christ i look at lives today as a man of god i look at people's destinies and i see 
certain results in their lives that I wonder how those kinds of results would have been produced. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. I know that these results are a product of a philosophy, a product of an ideology that has been sold by a system that has been sold by a sociological context that does not honor God nor have regard for the ways of God. Are we together now? Remember the tree of life based the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. The Bible tells us it is very tempting. When the woman saw it, there was an attraction. Are we together now? Many people's lives today have become a mess and has become complicated. I am almost afraid when I look at our society today and look at the level of confusion, the level of aimlessness that surrounds the lives of people. People are almost clueless about everything in life. The young and the old alike, the rich and the poor alike. And we do not know the source of this confusion. I want to show you tonight. If I can successfully show you and we pray, my assignment tonight has been fulfilled. Are we together? Colossians chapter 2. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We'll read verse 8. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 8. Read with me please. Look up. One to read. Beware lest any man spoil you through what? philosophy uh -huh. and vain deceit after the traditions of men here's my key point and after the methodology the modus operandi the system of this world the Greek word here is aeon an age and a mindset that is brought with that age that do not let the word spoiled here is plunder take advantage of do not let any man take advantage of you through philosophy, through vain deceit, through the traditions of men. After the methodology, there is a system that this world operates. Listen carefully. There is a way and manner that has been sold. Humanity as a race have been scammed by a system. A system that has advocated a way of life and a template of living. And the Bible says that compared to God's standard, that template is wrong. Now, but it's very difficult because the character of that tree is that it has good. And we live in a society where we are governed by results, which is an advantage for Satan. Because then he can project the good that comes with that system. And with it, he can buy the loyalty of people. By the time you can prove to me that a method is working, regardless of the side effects. Are we together now? We have products right now that are 60% um, potent in their result. And we believe that those products are enough and we sell them. So we live in a world where once there is an evidence that something works, we package it and we go mainstream and we market it to people but we do not know that that good the bible says that on that is a strategy that satan projects the good in every evil thing no evil thing comes as evil even satan comes as an angel of light are you getting me now so the character of evil is such that it projects the good first so that you are baited by that good like you dangle a worm attempting to catch a fish and the fish comes hoping to eat the worm not knowing that there is a hook behind are we together now and then that fish is caught up by the hook that don't let any man spoil you there is a philosophy in this world there is a philosophy in this age that when men subscribe to the bible says the side effect is that it is as though an armed bandit came to your house and plundered you the confusion that is in people's lives today on almost every subject matter 
is a call for concern that we must get back to understanding the disaster that is encapsulated in the tree of the knowledge of good and evil now society may not agree government may not agree because there are statistics to show that the tree has good are we together now so when you tell somebody come my dear when you tell someone um give your life to jesus and throw away some of the herbal things that were used in your village this lady will prove to you how that herbal medicine healed five people are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say good shout it again say good and the lady would tell you she's on five points now because they said any time is time for exam rob that thing before you go to the exam hall and my goodness did it work so now that lady will not listen to your proposition to say i should throw it is it just because it has a little side effect the benefits outweigh the side effects you will say the same way you say salt one pinch of salt cannot affect a whole you know bowl of soup you don't put the same size of vegetables as you do the salt yet sometimes just for putting a little more you can completely ruin that soup that's how evil is evil does not have to be the same size with good it just has to be present sufficient enough to create an effect are you getting me now you are not the only one who is salt evil too is salt are you getting what i'm saying you are not the only one who is salt evil too is salt that's why the bible says a little living a little not much a little please follow me very carefully this lady now can serve god but she will hold on to her charms because if the charms were 100 percent failed she would throw it obviously the devil knows nobody ever working with the devil has 100 percent evil no he doesn't work that way he's smart enough to know ask an robber why he's still stealing he will tell you the last stealing my god we had 11 million and that 11 million changed our life i even gave tight it looks good ask him now to stop stealing the memory of the 11 million will make sure he goes back to steal are you getting what i'm saying now evil blatantly will usually drive you away but the good component in it is what will give you the same power to remain so the bible says do not eat of that tree of good and evil there are philosophies my brothers and my sisters listen carefully there are mindsets there are belief systems that we have adopted that come with this age the bible tells us they are traceable to a tree they are traceable to a root that markets good to men and at the end destroys them thank you my dear the bible tells us again that this system that we live in has something called the wisdom of this age the wisdom of this age first corinthians chapter 2 i'm just trying to gather my scriptures before i begin to build you will be so blessed first corinthians chapter 2 paul is teaching the church in corinth and here's what he says first corinthians chapter 2 verse 6 how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect and so you are not confused paul now begins to distinguish what that wisdom is that kind he says yet not the wisdom of that means this world has its own kind of wisdom wisdom by its character produces results it doesn't matter what kind of wisdom are we together now but the bible is saying there is wisdom that is not 
the wisdom of God. It is the wisdom of this world. There is even the wisdom that is the wisdom of the princes of this world. Hmm. But the Bible says all of them come to naught. What does that mean? That means the end of them is death, is destruction. The wisdom of this world, the wisdom of the princes of this world that we pride ourselves in, that we build the entire philosophy of our lives, the Bible says that wisdom, whoever walks with that dimension of knowledge, doom and destruction is inevitable. Look at me, please. Most of the issues in our world today are only symptoms of a bigger problem. Are we together? Most of the issues in our world today, the issues that we face that we, we believe are the issues that are depriving man and mankind from his dignity, most of them are only symptoms of a bigger issue. The same way someone can have headache and a doctor can say, no, this is not headache, it is malaria. The headache is a symptom of something. Meaning if you take Panadol, it may give you a temporary relief, but you are not going to be healed from that malaria until you are properly treated. We spend our time addressing symptoms. We write books about symptoms. Listen carefully. We hold conferences on symptoms and very few people are willing to go to the root and deal with the foundation that brings about this, this tragic problem of mankind. The ideas of this world have made our lives complicated. The life of the average person living in today's world is as complicated as a gadget this wisdom we have adopted like a virus they have created a web of complication they have robbed us of the simplicity of life destroyed everything about us family life has been broken down to nonsense the dignity of responsibility has been broken down to nonsense meritocracy godliness all of these virtues that build up society and advance men they had been attacked for many years and now we are seeing the effect we have enjoyed the good of that tree for a long time and right now people are beginning to see the evil you are trying to run away but the tree said you received all of me you received the advancement that i gave you you received the technology that I gave you. Are we together now? You received all of the enlightenment that I gave you. Now the other side of the equation is opening up. And the war, the crime, the decadence, and people are saying, what kind of world are we in? Not knowing that is a fruit we ate. And now we are paying for everything. And let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, that tree is continuing to dangle every day. If we keep eating of that tree, it will not only kill us, it will kill our children and our children's children. We have been so sucked into this system, we do not even know we are in deception. You can be so deceived and misled that you are not even aware that is deception. Underdevelopment, security issues, marital issues, financial issues, joblessness, all of these things are symptoms of subscribing to a philosophy and a way of life that is antichrist and not built on life. That tree of life and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, it was just a diplomatic way to say the tree of life and a tree of death. Because the end of it is death. There is a way that cement right to a man. He says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. As I counsel people, I am coming to the conclusion that if we do not re-examine our philosophies, there is no hope. This issue 
is bigger than counseling. This issue is bigger than laying on of hands. This issue is bigger than a church service or a conference. This is a deception that is institutional. And it will take people who understand the Holy Spirit. Listen carefully. People who understand the ways of God to summon the courage to say, no, something is wrong. My grandfather followed this way. My father followed this way. Now a system is forcing me to follow that way. And you turn and say, no way. And receive the courage to fight to victory. The contentions that will come by your refusal to eat of that tree. Write this down. The world system that advocates this tree of good and evil thrives on three major things. The world system, that means the antichrist system of operation, unfortunately that our society is built upon, thrives on three things. Number one, ungodliness. Ungodliness. Today's world, our civilization today is against godliness. Let me explain to you what that means. That means to do well in today's world, it is mandatory you must act like there's no God. Are you getting what I'm just saying now? If you want to do well in today's world, you have to indoctrinate yourself and culture yourself into acting as though God does not exist. And the world today will applaud you. That means that this Babylonian system, this tree of the knowledge of good and evil, is strangling away God consciousness from all of us and from the fabric of society. The world system thrives on godlessness. That means that the more you are aligned to this world it will make you in a way and manner that you do not see value for god again by destroying every christian monument in schools for instance that can help men be aware are we together now all those things are strategies to make sure that our children the same way this little boy now does not know what a typewriter looks like that is the same way one day people will not know anything about God. You will say in the beginning was the word. They said, is that a novel? They say, what do you mean is that a novel? That's King James. They say, well, I'm not aware of what you are saying. That is the goal of this system. That a day will come when, when you say Bible study, it's like you are telling a child lemonade and he says, what is that? What is Bible, sir? I don't know what Bible is. And you say it's a book that contains the words of God. He said, who is God? We will get there if, a church does, if the church does not rise and listen to what I'm telling you. Today you have a program on TV. You mention Jesus or mention God, they edit it. But they can leave explicit words in movies even for children. Don't mind that rating thing they write. That means something is wrong. And the church is watching and we do not understand that we are being forced to eat from the tree that contains good and evil. Ungodliness. Right now, this is not, this is not a generation of ignorance again. Satan has stopped using ignorance as a strategy. This generation is too enlightened to entertain ignorance. So he has started marketing this good and evil. It's difficult to keep someone ignorant now because this is an inquisitive generation. They want to know. And so Satan says, instead of hiding the knowledge, let's not hide it again. Let us corrupt it and market it. So knowledge is available and affordable. But largely, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, over 70% of the information that mold and make the mind of people is a Babylonian information that contains good and evil. Are we together? You hear what they teach your children in school. On one side, you are happy that the children are learning biology. But on the other side, you know you are in trouble. Because good 
an evil. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. Ungodliness. We have to preserve God consciousness. And the tree of the knowledge of good and evil will never, never preserve God consciousness. When I was growing up, 90% of our discussions were around school and God. That was it. Right now, the average young child, the average teenager will talk about applications, apps, almost a thousand times before anything spiritual will be mentioned. Not God. Most young people are now spiritual and are now sociological, not spiritual. They are doing everything. That's why they are promoting all the human activities that neutralize God consciousness, like sports, like music. These are platforms that um that is 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 very very is very very civil and so it doesn't allow the things of god are you getting what i'm saying now it's a strategy and god is waking us up on godliness number two these three of the knowledge of good and evil that makes up the world system operates by distorting spiritual patterns write it down this system operates by distorting spiritual patterns is one of the most dangerous effects of this wisdom of the world it distorts spiritual patterns i want you to listen carefully isaiah chapter 5 we'll read from verse 20 to 24 Isaiah 5 20 read with me we are reading from 20 to 24 one to read woe to them that call evil good talk to me and good evil that put darkness for light uh -huh. and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter what kind of a generation is this that replaces everything is an overhaul nothing was spared if it is good this society calls it evil if it is light they call it darkness if it is sweet they call it bitter verse 22 21 woe to them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight uh-huh woe to them that are mighty to drink wine and men of strength to mingle strong drink 23 we justify the wicked for reward and take away the righteousness of the righteous from him do you know what this means that means they force you through their life and they compel you to bend until you are out of god's pattern he said they take away the righteousness of the righteous from him so you send your child to school as a responsible young boy from a christian family and a system has been built by the time that boy is three years in that school it has taken away the righteousness from the righteous four next verse therefore as fire devoured the stubble and flame consumed the chaff so shall their root be as rottenness and their blossom shall go up as dust notice that they once blossom but the bible said it will go up as dust because they have cast away the law of the lord of hosts and despised the word of the holy one of israel in god's design and in his dealings with men he always creates patterns listen carefully god's patterns are his methodology his way of achieving his will it is not enough to obey god we must understand his pattern there is a pattern for wealth and finance in the kingdom there is a pattern for marriage in the kingdom there is a pattern for ministry there is a pattern for success but now we have a system that is forcing an ideology and even upon believers that makes us to violate patterns are we together now 
one of our dear ladies here she may be following online i think a few a few maybe about a month ago she left for the u.s and when she got to the u.s i think it was just like a few days or a week she just called me and i know there are people from u.s following so i i, I don't mean to insult any culture but she told me that apostle there's there's something wrong she said my roommates are all lesbians and there is a problem if i'm not mistaken i hope i'm right because she said it's like they are supposed to be believers and now she has to relate with them because there is not like here just for showing any sign of um discrimination as it were they can sue you and of course if you are not not a citizen of that nation they can take you out immediately and this lady was confused completely confused and saying what is all this i come from a place in zaria where even the person who is not doing well can be a pastor somewhere else and now i'm faced with roommates that are vocally part of a system let me tell you i don't mean to insult anyone but i told you most of those things are symptoms of a problem the problem is that we have deviated from god's pattern are you getting what i'm saying now yes the divorce rate in marriages is something that is scary including christian marriages one out of every two marriages will not last 10 years now please don't feel bad if anything has happened to your marriage i'm teaching here are you getting what i'm saying do you know why because two of you come husband and wife people have created their own patterns call good evil and evil good it was god who defined how marriage works society has now mentored people into creating their own laws about marriage is it not arrogant for you to come and meet something and not consult the person who created it and change the laws it's like coming to my house and meet my tap running and i come back and see that you've rewired the tap to the back of the house by what authority did you do this in my house so we have done it in ways that we cannot imagine in my my laptop i have the photo of a woman who married sardine big sardine not the small one you use yes sir yes sir are we together side by side you see them there i have it in my laptop now let me tell you this believers we are civilized people i'm not i'm not those kind of people that will teach you to not, not no 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 but i'm saying something is wrong we have to admit that something is wrong are we together now these people have their ideas they have money they have everything yet the marriage does not work and they are wondering because everybody the babylonian system has indoctrinated this lady you are not under any man you are a lady you are you know you are a wonderful person don't let any man look down on you society is these men are looking down on women this and that and the lady says yes if it's because of your money i will get my own job i will buy my own car i can be lord of myself if you drive me i can go and get my three bedroom flat we think it's a nice thing because if a lady proposes this in the world they clap for you they stand up and wave their hands and god sits on his throne and say this is not what i designed what are you designing like this already as i'm saying it you see how surprised how many of you have been sucked into it as i'm saying it now it's paining you which is a sign that god is delivering you because already you can see how the thing has sucked us and then the men we have our own we are even the ones that are more sucked into this thing because we need money we need to provide and we have deviated from god's pattern completely right now respect in marriage is based on who is richer not what god said I'm working, I'm earning 30,000. You are earning 10,000. You are not worth my respect. And society says, yes. One, one life coach somewhere who is not born again, has never read the Bible, is now writing books and pushing it to the church because they know we buy everything. Are we together? Yes. 
something is wrong a distortion of patterns let me tell you why patterns are important because patterns forerun the glory when patterns are violated the glory will never be seen never be seen there are ways today my brothers and my sisters i don't say this in any sarcastic way but there are ways go for pastors conferences and see how they teach men to raise money to run churches you will be amazed and you will be surprised because there is a pattern a babylonian system is marketing a strategy remember that the ark of god was supposed to be carried by a formula a man decided to invent a system to say let's let's make it easier for men and that man died what did he do that was wrong he only changed patterns it was violation of pattern that made a man lose his throne saul in the bible it was not in his office to offer sacrifices but because samuel was wasting time and the people started putting pressure on saul saul said what nonsense is this priesthood thing get me everything let me offer sacrifices as soon as he offered sacrifices samuel came and said what have you done he said you have done foolishly you would have allowed me to come and do this and god would have established your throne forever but now that you have done this your throne is taken away from you and samuel tried to weep and cry and god who is full of mercy said how long will you weep seeing that i've rejected saul as king in other words this guy is out of my program god your god every time the reason why we never see the glory of god in our churches we never see the glory of god in our families could it be that we are there eating of the tree of the knowledge of the of good and evil and is indoctrinating us to act and believe in ways that are violating god's pattern gideon began to cry and told the angel he said why do we not see the miracles that our fathers told us and he began to tell gideon there are idols there are things to be destroyed when it was time for elijah to command fire from heaven he didn't just say fire come he said set me 12 altars there is a pattern set me 12 altars put water on it put this and fire came Cain and Abel offered sacrifices one was accepted one was rejected God is not only the God of the heavens he's a God of patterns God looks at how you did it not just that you did it hmm. patterns thank you my dear Exodus chapter 25 we'll read verse 9 and then we'll read verse 20 very quickly please god is taking us somewhere tonight according to all that i showed thee listen after the pattern of the tabernacle this was the building of the tabernacle in the wilderness and god was instructing moses that according to all that i showed you after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments thereof so shall thou make it in other words it was not moses's idea a blueprint was given his assignment was to replicate it there are many things see in your dealing with god you will not need too much of creativity you will need obedience it is when you are executing his will on earth that you will need in your dealing with god there are few things that will be your idea i know we don't like this how you know you are working with god is that a major part of your dealing is yes sir yes sir when it becomes in my opinion that's not god you are working with hmm. creativity is not for the secret place creativity is a system of dominion you don't bring creativity when you are in the secret place it is obedience it is your heart opening to say lord not my will but your will be done exodus 25 25 verse 40 and look that thou make them after what their pattern which was shown you not which you guessed not which you guessed a pattern was shown you make sure that you make it after their pattern very quickly give us chapter 40 and verse 16 40 and verse 16 
I'm showing you that God is a God of patterns. 40 and verse 16. Read with me, please. One to read. Thus did Moses, uh -huh, according to all that the Lord commanded him. Go to verse 33. We are reading now verse 33 to 35. It says, and he read up the court. He's about to finish now. Listen carefully. Round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. Read the last sentence, everyone. One to go. So Moses finished the work. He finished everything according to pattern. Next verse. And then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation. God supervised until he followed the patterns to the dot. When Moses finished the work, he said, God, I finished. God said, I'm ready to come. The cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of God filled the tabernacle. Next verse. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation. Why? Because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of God filled. If the glory of God is not upon your church, could there be an explanation that something in the building or the system of that church is disaligned with divine patterns? Because if it is built according to pattern, the glory of God is like a stamp. You obeyed to the latter. If I look at your family and I do not see the glory of God, there is a pattern that you are not following. Are we together now? I can look at your family and I see chaos here and there. Husband beating wife, wife beating husband, I must kill you. I tell you, someone is violating patterns. If both people walk with divine patterns, there will be glory. That means the glory of God is also a confirmation that his patterns have been duly followed. Every time you finish that which you do, it's important to look around and find out where is the glory of God in it as proof that this was done according to pattern. Could it be that the joblessness that is plaguing young people in Nigeria, could it be the reason why many of us are languishing in certain intense levels of hardship? We may be well-meaning, but could it be that we are violating divine patterns? Everybody say patterns. Say it again, say patterns. So the tree of the knowledge of good and evil causes you to be distorted from God's pattern. There is a way God designed that marriage happens. If you have to go on Facebook and WhatsApp to start doing this, you may get a beast who is first a man before he becomes a beast, which is consistent with the way that tree works. Is first good before evil. So you meet somebody on Facebook and he says, I'll go and see your parents. You are the lily of the valley. Are we together now? And that person later becomes the beast of your destiny. Why? Because patterns. God designed marriage, come please, to be one man and one woman. Don't feel bad. By the time this guy says one woman is not enough and brings another woman, everybody say patterns. Patterns start fighting from the realm of the spirit because the way God designed this thing is such that one woman, the woman has to be alone for you to see the best of her in marriage. By the time it is now two, or ten or five something must go wrong it doesn't matter what they sign patterns have been distorted are we together when a man of 50 years old is writing why everybody say patterns have been distorted now listen i'm not i'm not being sarcastic i'm saying that it is usual for that man to not concentrate he is not supposed to be that alert and focused just like that because that longevity of time has accommodated too many things that are more serious than the subject matter so it is good that a young man bear his yoke in his youth lamentation chapter 3 
that God says young men walk your walks while it is day night will come when you cannot walk it's a pattern starting early in life is a pattern that's why when the spirit of delay comes upon a family it makes sure that the first person is in is writing SSC at 25 it's not about delay Satan is doing everything to make you go out of pattern it is why God in his mercy introduced a mystery called restoration are you seeing that now restoration is doing something to your life to bring you back in pattern when a woman has been barren and she's 60 years old with no child the devil knows that according to the normal course of life there will be a problem giving birth or at least giving birth to a very healthy child are you seeing that now satan knows that god is a god of patterns and so he supplies us knowledge that makes us to be and act in ways that continue to be defiant to god's pattern because his advantage in our life is that when we are out of pattern he doesn't need to pray against us the glory was designed to locate patterns and confirm it is god speaking to us I like you to look at your family as you are sitting down and suddenly realize that could this be why we never saw the hand of God in our family we were Christians oh my father my mother loved God served God with all his and her heart Lord why is this family this way why are we not seeing your glory I'm showing you we are eating of a tree and the more we keep eating of that tree every time the glory comes to your house it cannot rest and the glory continues to search for a resting place and sometimes it will wait for one full generation until you arrive that's why some of you are standing up to say lord that glory must rest that glory has been hovering around my family since 1951 and nobody has aligned enough to allow that glory come lord see he said lord and now arise oh lord he said come to your resting place until then god said i don't have a place to rest and solomon said no way we have to make for you make for you a place i can tell you i understand a bit about the glory of god i know why many people do not experience the glory there are spiritual patterns Babylon. you eat of that tree notice what happened to adam as soon as they ate of the tree what happened the glory lifted it was the glory that covered them they didn't even know whether they were naked or not they didn't need clothes because the shekinah of god covered them as soon as they ate of that tree imagine that every day you are eating of that tree think of what is happening to your life and think of what you are programming for your children's children already so every time our fathers kept bowing in that shrine they thought they were just paying homage but something Ichabod, the glory continued to move back and back and back and back and back by the time you came to the scene, there was no glory again. Eleven ladies, beautiful ladies, no man to marry them. Thirteen ladies, no child. Let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, it's not just about prayer. When we return to the pattern, it's with a rush. The glory will come. When Moses finished, not when he started, God kept watching. Finish it and let my glory come. You know, from my paternal side i never saw any blessed person i think the most blessed person was my dad and it's not like he was any blessing i said what kind of course is this how can you be so hard working and love god my father was a very honest man loved god but i i said no no someone has to be angry oh this night and say no my family has been eating from a tree 
Eating from the tree can mean bowing to an idol. Eating from the tree can be an indoctrination that your salary is where your wealth is. You think it's a nice statement, but it's something that has been sold to you. So when you hear things like all blessings come from God, they only pass through men. It's an ideology that fights everything you've been taught about job. Oh, the boss said, I can waste your life now. And you say, sir, it's true. Ah, and the psalmist said, I lift up my eyes to the hills. I'm not confused. I know where my help comes from. Who is an arrogant man born of a woman that sits on a chair and says he will frustrate you? When there is God, An average man of God has been taught now that there are things that if they are not in your church members will not come please don't get me wrong I know if there's any man of God falling I'm, I'm an excellent person but right now we are doing a lot of nonsense that will not help us see the glory of God nonsense members can drink tea they can eat rice they can eat yam and go because there is a pattern and I if I be lifted that's the pattern I will Paul may plant, Apollos may water, but it's not given to men to bring increase. Increase is a mystery that only the Lord of the harvest knows the formula. You say something now, people insult you and say you are arrogant, but the result is not showing. I want you tonight to start thinking the convictions that I hold, where did it come from? Where did it come from? There are many well-behaved ladies in this place. You started very well with God until you read a book. Until you joined some group of friends who told you, blast gentlemen. Don't talk anybody that talks. Just give it to them. Don't be doing like a mumu girl. Men are not like that. I say, eh, that's how it works. You ate something and from that day your glory went away and the kind of men who would ordinarily come you find out that men increase but it's all nonsense kind of men men that you cannot carry to your parents something a pattern has gone wrong the one factor that was the reason why the glory of God was on you the devil now came and lied to you why be respect yourself be a well-behaved girl be all of, let me tell you if you act like you're a mumu naive girl men will not come and you say okay i must reinvent myself to be a happening lady and that was the day your destiny helper went away there are many pastors some of you here have come here for impartation let me tell you i submit to you i am a student of patterns there are things that i know i found them God taught me. I said, Lord, I will never bend to them. Years ago, I remember saying some things and I was insulted. I was criticized because of it. I said things about the glory of God. I said things about increase. And I said, the way we are going, if people do not understand these things, they will pay for it. People laughed at me. And today is unfortunate for many people. People see some of the results that God is producing. It's not a charm. It's patterns. When a pattern is complete, listen to me. My sister, you may come from a family where nobody knows you. Stay with God's pattern. Let his glory rest on you. You will join people to wonder and say, God, what, what am I doing? And God says, I'm the God of patterns. Man of God, follow God's pattern for ministry. And you will be afraid of what God will do through your life. We like cutting corners. Cutting corners. Cutting corners. I want a ministry, but I want it now. I want power, but I want it fast. I want this, but I want it now. And we find out that somewhere along the line, the patterns are distorted. And we never see the power of God. Are we together? You do what I'm telling you now to do and see how society will laugh at you. 
because we have trained people that the more godless we are the more happening they are you see that so this gentleman now is in the house and somebody advises him don't give your wife money because if you give her money she will not respect you that's what is in vogue now a demonic pattern because loyalty and submission was supposed to be by revelation not manipulation now the man is manipulating the woman and one day her own Ahitophel too will advise her and as soon as he advises her she will get a job and start a business and arrest the husband to prove to him that I am the man in the house my brothers and my sisters were in trouble if we don't return to pattern yes many marriages do not work because the men are not under authority you've heard me say it I have read a lot of books about marriage and I respect it but I submit to you that many of the books are dealing with symptoms do you know just for a man not having the fear of God there are hundred problems that can arise from that relationship now you can write a book to solve those various hundred problems but the root cause is that this man is not saved period when a man is not saved, the tendencies that can come are infinite. When a man is not under authority, he can beat the living daylight out of this woman and say, who cares? I'm the Lord of my life. I don't listen to no man. The arrogance of Nebuchadnezzar. It's a pattern. Why do doctors specialize why do they look at certain sicknesses and they can show you immediately because the sicknesses have patterns malaria has a pattern typhoid has a pattern a doctor can do this just do a quick examination and say wow quickly you need to see a consultant something is wrong without the patterns they have been taught to identify patterns that's it there is a pattern that gives you wealth in this kingdom many believers will not listen the world has its own system it will work but wait to see what it will give you later on it will give you high blood pressure you will be a liar you will be a thief you will destroy your life destroy the integrity of your family so two of us come show two of us can stand right now and i have i have some money here i have one thousand naira watch this he got his one hold your own hold it high He's old, he got his 1,000 by a Babylonian system. And I got my 1,000 from a kingdom system. You would think that two of us are holding 1,000. No. He's holding 1,000 minus five years gone in his life. That's why the blessing of the Lord make it rich and added. That means there is a kind of blessing that adds to. If the blessing of the Lord adds not that means there is a type that you can get but with it you will get this that's what happened to many of our parents by the time they are 55 years he found out that because of Horsley and the way he pushed like that he's about to retire but he's not hearing again come on to me Jesus let's listen to him now let's listen to Jesus Come on to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden. He promises that he will give you rest. This is what many people can kill for. Look at this. This thing you see. Many people have left God because of it. Many people are going to hell fire because of it. Yet they never find it. And God tells you, look, there is a way I can give you this such that you will serve me. And the world says, the way I give you this is the, the more you denounce Jesus, the more I give it to you. So you keep saying, Jesus, I don't love you. And Mammon says, that's how it works. By the time you have plenty of this, you have not only left the cross, you have left everything God. So when you come and say, I can have this and yet have Jesus, Babylon says, you are joking. But this is what God is training you into doing. That you can have this and if God says let it go you drop it because you are aware that this is not your true value your true value is Christ
we must return tonight to patterns otherwise we are going to suffer remember that every result is governed by something that something is a pattern the result you get is brought by the glory of God I've seen a little bit of the glory of God and I know when a man has found a pattern for the glory give up on that man if you want to try to take the glory in that area you are wasting your time for as long as the pattern is kept the glory will always always without fail tomorrow I'm in Lagos preaching at a conference and I know that their lives will never be the same because there is a pattern it's not because I'm Joshua Selman ah Elijah said bring me 12 stones I know how to make fire come from heaven man of God you are not a blessing to your members if you do not understand the pattern that brings the hand of God there is a pattern that men do on earth that brings favor there is a pattern that brings speed there is a pattern that brings the anointing I was glad when they said unto me let us go to the house of the Lord I was glad there is something in the house of the Lord that changes the lives of people but today we are eating trees that make the things of God do you know the tree of the knowledge of good and evil teaches you that it is in the abundance of hustling you prosper have you had those teachings and have you seen people write books on them have you not read in your Bible that except the Lord builds a house, they labor in vain that build it? The world will laugh at you for saying that. Have you not read again that the Lord said, except he watches over a city, he says, that the watchmen watch it in vain. He said it is vain to wake up in the morning and to sleep late in the night. Does that look like somebody's life that you know? Wake up in the morning, sleep late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. He said, but he gives his beloved sleep. And you see, when you struggle and it does not work, you will be angry at those who are getting it easy because patterns are supposed to create spiritual ease. So you can step into a place and gyrate like a herbalist. The power of God will fall. It is going to fall. And you keep looking at the ladies and nobody is shouting and you are angry. What is no, no sister shouting? And yet, someone comes with the ark and knows how to put 12 stones together. And all of a sudden, you are hosting a dimension of glory. And you stand and watch and say, how are these people doing it? He has to be the devil. No, sir. Patterns. Oh, God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh, God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. And I have loved walk in your ways for step by step you lead me and I will follow ago the Lord told me something he said don't do what everybody is doing just listen to me and follow me I was stupid enough to follow Lord where do I go this way Lord where do I go I remember when the Lord told me put koinonia messages the audio put it on your Facebook page and let it go Lord what is that many ministries raise their money to run the church primarily through the media arm 
the media arm of every ministry is one of the major ways that God blesses them with Lord if you are doing that how then are you going to bless the ministry but Lord how do you put a message on Facebook and then you said you will give it wings the patterns of God he uses the foolish things my brothers and my sisters listen to me a lady was talking to me that she was somewhere one of our ladies she used to be in the worship team that she was somewhere on Kekena Pep and the person on Kekena Pep was playing my message this was in I think it was in Wari or so or Bielsa now that one is no more advertisement there is a finger when you see results that are produced by patterns you will know that this one is God the pride of our generation will never allow us to humble ourselves and say Lord I don't know I don't know many young people do not know how to succeed and they will never go to God they will consult with all kinds of equally proud people like them and come up with all kinds of formula that is not consistent with the ways of God that formula may have worked in 1970 but I guarantee it will not work in today's world listen young people in Nigeria we need to receive the formula for our advancement because computers have, re have replaced men a day will come when almost everything will be done by computers i don't know what the employment issue will be but there is there is a system in this kingdom when there was famine only two sets of people were spared the king and the prophet the king and the prophet did not go through famine any other person in between suffered the squalor of it Alabara. You are the mighty God, and you are so with you. You are the glorious Alamara. There are people who will tell you about our teachings that they can stand and sit strangers i shared with you the testimony of a gentleman that bought flash new flash in the case flash drive bought a new flash drive in the case like that given to him the gentleman opened it went to slot it in his laptop and there was koinonia messages brand new flash because it's not men that market this thing they are spirits Ask Jacob in the house of Laban. Do you not see that there was a pattern that made Laban left for three days? How many days? Three days. He came back after three days and saw that his cattle had changed in three days. Do animals get pregnant in three days? But a spiritual pattern was downloaded to the earth realm and things change. That means there is something we can receive from heaven remember our popular scripture in this ministry knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth there is a pattern my brothers and my sisters listen to me i want you to be careful what everybody calls the way did you hear what i said don't be afraid of being controversial be careful what everybody says is the way this is how people make it in life this is how people marry these days no sir many of our young children are being destroyed right now in churches because in a bid to create a western or a 21st century context we are robbing these young children of the quality of knowing god look at islam they have not changed their pattern the way they train children regardless whether it's in Saudi Arabia or whatever the pattern is the same they know the potency of that formula is God speaking to us let me give us one more and then we'll pray is God speaking to someone tonight so if I am not seeing the glory of God in my life the explanation tonight is that there could be that I am eating I am partaking of an information that may be mainstream 
it may be popular when i talk to this my adorable gentlemen they are absolutely great people they are going very far you see that yes they are going very far but you see there is a pattern that people believe if you follow you will rise fast believe me it is nonsense any pattern that is not consistent with god's word will not take you far it will throw you up and crash you down that's why you see people rise and shine for two years and then they say their time has come and gone but is that what your bible says doesn't it say that the path of the just talk to me is as a shining light so what is this up today and down tomorrow because there is a pattern if you have to put money in my pocket and bribe my way to making the world know you your success is at the mercy of my loving you the day i don't love you you are in trouble but when god is the one who leads you you will be surprised when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you for five years and they will tell her there's one man is in our village he has the gift he has the gift all you need to do he has the gift and the woman says no i know god's pattern i know that that tree carries good so it's possible to go there and have a child but something will come with that child will come the trouble in your family and then the woman stays and uses her faith and the day God is ready to visit her, God will not give her a child. The woman will carry t triplets, one child being equivalent to 10 children. You know that there are people who alone, they are equivalent to a nation. They give birth to one child. Because of that one child, somebody you have been trying to see for years comes to visit you. Five people get a job because a child was born. Is that a child? A child that does what a CEO cannot do. A destiny helper from birth. One week from birth is already a destiny helper. And as adult as we are, we couldn't help ourselves. A child helps us. That's not a child. That's a miracle. That's a breakthrough. Number three. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil thrives on self-centeredness i want you to listen to my message christ-centeredness i preached it i think earlier this year the language i i want it my way my way is the language of babylon my way is proof you are eating of that tree men who eat of that tree have a way they talk it must be my way listen listen oh generation of young people let's listen my way my formula we live in a generation right now where there is an obsession for having things happen our way i want it my way and we take it a step further to force others to also do it our way that's the height of selfishness now most great relationships are destroyed because of the i factor myself i want it my way it has to be as it pleases me unfortunately when you come to the kingdom you learn that the more i goes down the more glory rises and i jesus if i be lifted up not you john said that i will decrease not just him that self i decreases and that you increase
James chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 self-centeredness is one of the biggest tragedies of eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil James chapter 3 give us 14 and 15 the Bible says something very instructive it says listen but if ye have bitter envyings and strife in your heart glory not and lie not against the truth 15 it says this wisdom so there is a wisdom that is as a result of self and greed and bitterness my selfishness and my greed can make me act in a way that looks like wisdom but the motivation are we together now the motivation for that wisdom is bitterness self-centeredness the bible says that kind of wisdom descended not from above remember the knowledge of the good of good and evil it says but is earthly is sensual and is devilish so simply because I want to be the one to shine, I can say, Sam, um, because there is a gun inside that room, I say, Sam, why don't you go to that room and go and help me carry a basket? But the goal is so that he will be implicated, so that he will get out of the way for me to shine alone. It looks like wisdom, but the motivation is self-centeredness. The Bible says that wisdom is devilish. Our world today, and sadly, even in ministry, is full of self-centeredness. Romans chapter 16, quickly please, verse 17 and 18. While I was studying this, I found this scripture and it blessed me. Tonight is a very strong admonishment and I want you to listen carefully. 16 and 17. Okay, read with me. One, two, go. Now I beseech you, brethren, Mark them which cause what? Division and offense contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. And do what? Avoid them. Next verse. For they are such that serve not our Lord Jesus, but they are. And by good words and fair speeches, they deceive the heart of the simple. Your Bible. So I can be looking for money and I can say, do you know what? Um, the Lord gave me a prophetic instruction that all of us are going to do this and that and that. All of us are going to raise to 2000 and come and touch my shoe and your life will change and God knows he didn't give that instruction I just calculated that if there are 5000 people here and everybody gives to 2000 highest plus or minus I've already done the mathematics and then I come and say oh God said no their belly is their God their belly a man's belly can be his God meaning you can serve your stomach It's amazing what people do so that they can feel satisfied and don't care the effect on others and on the kingdom. That's why people can kill. I can look at this gentleman and plot with an assassin. Look at this, these touts around that steal phones and do all of that. They can come and cut someone's hand cut someone's neck to collect a phone of 25,000 and go and sell it 5,000. That is self-centeredness at work. The amount it would take for that victim to treat himself or herself may even be more than what they sold that phone for. But because they need to smoke now, everybody, even if it means death, listen, the moment the comfort of people does not become a factor for your consideration in your desire you are self-centered I want this it must be my way brothers 
we want this I'm the man of the house it must be my way I stamp it ladies I'm the woman of the house I'm not the one that married you you are the one that married me it must be my way and the naughty children come I'm not the one that gave her this them to they say their own selfishness I wish you... <laughs> who Jesus himself stripped himself of his glory and came to the earth for God so loved not himself for God so loved the world I have loved thee with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness selfishness Lord bless me so that everybody in my family will know that I'm not a small man my elder brother who is shouting Lord bless me let me disgrace somebody for you and God says me what do you think I am your mate God sees my heart and I stand before you I say this I don't know how many things I do in my life considering myself as the chief benefactor God is my witness there are things I do for people today that I sit down sometimes and I think and I say Kai you man now I, I talk to myself I said now for you Joshua Selman when you do not have a heart for God and people you are eating of the tree of life of knowledge of good and evil the tree of life takes the attention from you to others are we together now as a preacher if your whole church is around you what you can get from members how they can clap for you then that means you're in trouble let me tell you true ministry is not about the preacher it's about the blessed people that God brings so that they are raised, so that they are equipped, so that their lives are blessed. I sit down here many times and I find tears when I see people stand to testify about the marvelous things that the word of God did for them. Listen, I have found out that there are not many things that are important in life. Did you hear what I said? I have found out that if you walk with God's ways, there are not many things in your entire lifetime that are really important. The complications that come, that our lives bring, are a web that the Babylonian system created for us. So we have depression. Go to the village. You will hardly find people with high blood pressure. For some of them, it's because they are not enlightened. But for some of them, through the wisdom of the ancient, they know the things that really matter. Did you know that when all is said and done in this life, there are not many things that are important. As busy as we are, 6 o'clock in the morning, we're on our way going. 12 o'clock, we're on our way going. We do this and kill ourselves, trying to eat, trying to gain relevance. I must buy the suit of 200,000 so that they will know. And that self-inflicted pain leads you to do things that you have no business doing. The moment you buy the 200,000 Naira suit, the person you want to wear it for, you hear that they've made the person a senator. And you feel stupid for laboring for one year to prove a point. Listen, I have seen people who died trying to impress others. I've seen people who died trying to create something in their life that was not part of God's template for them. Meet a man on a deathbed right now and tell him what do you desperately want. He will not say an estate. He will not say I need an extra wife. He will not say I need a male fast. The only thing he will cry for is give me more time. 
that means time is the most valuable thing and if God ever gives you time you have everything but we can waste time to look for what is less than time God gave you time to serve him time to love him time to seek him we were on our way going to um, I think it was while we were going to movie while we were going to the airport I was talking to my people and I told them I said guys do you know that this you people's thing that you have forced me to buy has reduced my productivity by at least 10 percent and they were amazed I said I don't have a problem with it but um, you can sit down with somebody for 20 minutes and not even ask him his name because someone else is talking to you and the person who is talking to you can even have gone to be with the Lord yet he's talking to you and somebody that is alive that can help you now you see that everybody people have had accidents typing text while driving people have done all kinds of things you see someone stand by the roadside shouting alone and just nodding with the earpiece. These things are turning us into fools. We have to remind ourselves that we are the highest of God's creation. I'm not against excellence. Don't get me wrong. But something is critically wrong that we must trust God for. It's a mind control system. It's controlling us. Right now when you stand, people look at you and they look at the phone you are holding. They see one kind of thing. They say, okay, you can stay there. That's a society that is depraved of the formula. So it puts pressure. Someone who is busy saving money for something is under pressure. Let me carry this. There are some, you, I, I thank God because it doesn't allow me to read the prayer items of miracle service. I'm sure I would have edited some before presenting them to God. I said, this is nonsense. God, please don't waste your time. There's a crucial issue here. Someone is dying. Leave this iPhone issue and kill the person dying. So I can go to the place of prayer and spend three hours. And that three hours is not because I love God and His purposes. The three hours is because I'm manipulating the hand of God to meet my need. Oh God, if you give me a good job and you give me an iPhone, Lord, you too, you know you'll be glorified. And God says, how? How? Present your cause. There's no problem. How will I be glorified? I say, well, Lord, they will respect me. And say, have you, have you found out how many times you mentioned your name in that equation? I say, no. I'm not a careless God. I don't waste. And yet another person is doggedly involved. And say, Lord, I know. There is nothing that I have that is not yours. And while he's talking, God is telling someone, give him the latest iPhone every year. He said, God, I don't need it. He said, me, I want you to need it. That's God for you. It's amazing how God can take someone else's prayer request and give another person who really seeks him. Please, when you go to the secret place, don't waste your time. Learn how to get God's heart. Nobody comes with his heart without his hands. If you invite my heart, my hand will follow. If you invite my hand, I can keep my heart far while my hand goes. Get his heart and you will see what his hand will do. It's the hand that will remove the heart and put it for you. But with that heart will come more than you have ever imagined. I see God do things in my life and I see God do things in this ministry that sometimes... This God, ba, I want you to believe him. I will never bow to Babylon. It's a corrupted system. I have seen the fallacy of this system. They are arrogant. Even one hour to their destruction, they will still be arrogant. They have deceived many people today. The Babylonian system has made many people to go to hell. Are you aware of that? There are people who would have been on their way to heaven, but a system deceived them. They deceive many of our parents to not love God. They embrace education, but they left God. Believing that they will be on their job forever, they forgot that demons are still on earth. While they were promoted, 
their inability to be connected to God didn't give them the opportunity to make exploits and their lives are almost miserable today young people lie to themselves if you take this and smoke this you are a man and it sells a system and you embrace it let me tell you I introduce to you once again a system that is superior maybe controversial for a while but the results are like day and night you will rise above men men and watch life in wonder yes it's true I've made my choice I really have I'm not going to run my life based on a depraved system that has no respect for God I will not make money at the expense of my relationship with God no sir that is devilish money and God are not the same I will never allow any brilliant financial expert make me believe money and God is the same no in the beginning God not dollars in the beginning God not naira in the beginning God not NMPC in the beginning God not APU in the beginning God and he says he's omega too so whatever happens in between I'm sure that he's still there I live a very happy life truly speaking and I live a very peaceful life do you know why because I have learned in my life there are very finite things I'm doing with my entire life the things I'm doing with my life they are not many these are the things I live for these are the things my entire course on earth will be for I don't have time to waste on nonsense there's no time wasting to prove any point high blood pressure if they tell you I have high blood pressure well pray for me but I don't think it's true I sleep like a baby I wake up happily this is the day the Lord has made I rejoice and I am glad in it wake up tomorrow morning and stand by the road and see the anger of people he's alone nobody's on the road yet he's already angry honing alone and angry this wicked world why is life like this and God says come up to me say no God stay out of my life and others even say it's because you came into my life have you heard people say that if the devil ever puts that thought in your mind my brothers and my sisters cast it that is because God came into my life that's why I'm not lifted if it was not this God thing I would have quietly bribed my way I would have been in NMPC now and people regret and make it look like God you are a disadvantage Bazankoma Bazankoma Nina Bazankoma based on your own convictions if you don't fear God you can't make your children fear God they will fear what you fear you fear money you will raise your children like that whatever you serve is what they will serve you say as for me and my house as for me and my house I've made a choice I want you to join me make this choice make this choice as for me money will not stand between me and God faith will not stand between me and God this devilish system it doesn't mean we should run away from the world we cannot we are in the world but there is another philosophy listen we are praying in the world Sam come if Sam offends me the world teaches that Sam has offended you an eye for an eye make sure you do something that bends him so that he will know but when you come into the kingdom, it says to even pray for those who despitefully use you. Now, you do that. Let me tell you what the world calls you. Mumu, that's the name. That's the name invented for those who obey God that far. When you obey God that far, the world created a name for you. Everybody will be taking you for a ride. You are doing like an idiot. Revenge, Share. And Bible says, vengeance is mine. And you are thinking, do I do, I do something for Sam? 
David had the opportunity to kill Saul and he left Saul. Ah, David, yes, your chance. David said, it doesn't work that way. There is a pattern. It is God that lifts. If I lift myself, I will keep myself in the palace. Give. That's the pattern of the kingdom. The wall says, take, search his pocket, remove everything and make it your own. That's how you rise. And that's the way many of us have taught. You can inflate school fees. Daddy, they've increased our school fees to 120,000. Print some letters that are a lie. And they give you and you say smartness. That's what the world calls it. In this kingdom, we call it death. Because God's system of justice will catch up with you for sure. Are we together? We are going to pray. Tonight is a wake-up call. That you should stop eating from the tree. Although it looks like it has good. There is a more excellent way. The tree of life. An ideology and a proposition that is superior by far. You will live long and live happy. You will give and people will think you are a madman. Yet you are happy because you understand the system. That your children surround your table. They don't run away from you like you ran away from your parents. They come to you and love you. That you can lock your house morning till night with your family members and say today we are worshipping God in this family. Not No time, no time. I need to make ends meet. I need sharp, sharp. I need money. There's one money somewhere and God is saying settle down. God, no, 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 no. My, the, the person has called me to come now. I need to come. A man can receive nothing. Intelligent people hear me. on your own understanding it says in all your ways acknowledge him I am aware that I'm not very smart in myself I've given up on my own intelligence outside of God that's why I need him like a matter of life and death and I say Lord if you do not speak my intelligence is too frail to give me the results that I seek these are the kinds of people that he loves when people stand and say Apostle Joshua Selman, I remember that in this kingdom there is only one person who is glorified. It is in his being glorified that you are also lifted. And then I turn and I say, Lord Jesus, this is unto you. And they say, no, shine. I say, no, we shine. By letting him shine, then he reflects his light on us. That's how we get our own. We don't shine and turn our backs at him. Say, Lord, I have brought you this as a trophy. And he says, you are doing this for me, then I will lift you. Men of God, be careful. When men begin to clap for you and say, without you, the world will not move. Without koinonia, you cannot rise. I mean, come. With or without me, God's sovereignty remains. With or without me, his kingdom and his purposes will continue. If I die today, you will only cry for seven days. You will first try to raise me back. If I don't refuse to wake up, you will throw me, you will pray and pray and be tired and one by one you will start going and throw me in a grave and cry one last time and I tell you that will be it. You will think your life will not continue. I will stand and I'm watching you with the angels and say, bury that body and go. <laughs> I want you to live a superior life. A life that is free from fear. If I fail, what happens? If I fail, hey, no, if I don't marry, what happens? If I don't have children, no. To deliver them who through the fear of death, fear, have all their lifetime subject to bondage. If you want to buy a car today, the reason should not be to prove a point. Lord, I need it for the comfort of my life for my family ultimately for your kingdom and God says pattern complied let the car come Lord I need it have my colleagues have car this small boy that was in SS1 when I was writing work and God said SS1 I was 33 years old when I saved the world I saved those who were also 70 years so if you are using age that carnality in you God will not prosper you and you will sit down there and say my colleagues and their children will come and be feeding you but if you say Lord is for your glory and I've taught you how you know God is being glorified in your life whoever takes the shame 
is the one who has been taking the glory did you hear what i said whoever takes the shame god cannot be taking the glory while you take the shame many of us are so shame conscious we got it from our cultures shame shame ah let him take the glory and let him take the shame is his namesake is defending not my namesake you enter your sabbath lord is for your glory for your glory i will do anything just to see you to behold you as my king for your glory i will do anything just to see One more time, sing it. For your glory, I will do anything just to see you, to behold you as my need. I want to be where you are. I got to be where you are. Wanna be where you are Gotta be where you are You have tried hustling Why don't you try a retreat? Try it Try it You have tried running around Why don't you get back and say Lord here is my certificate Whatever you do with it, do all I'm tired of applying every job I applied they didn't give me I bring my certificate to the secret place and I kneel before you am I not all yours is the certificate not yours and you lie down there and then you have a dream and you see someone giving you a job and God says this one I am the one giving you I took my hand to show you it's not by the arm of flesh I am the lifter of men I don't know how many times I would drum this revelation there is nobody who is self-made in the kingdom. The idea of being self-made is a secular idea. Everybody is spirit-made. Everybody is God-made. Everybody is word-made. And nothing was made without him. I am self-made is a joke. Of course, when you are talking to secular people, it's okay. But in this kingdom, no self-made preachers. No self-made marriages no self-made wives oh i was beautiful that's why he married me he's a lie i'm a handsome guy walking in an npc no sir everything in this kingdom is god the epicenter of the kingdom is christ are you ready to pray i've shown you three things that the tree of the knowledge of good and evil can do listen it will destroy your home it will destroy your life there is a more excellent way is the way of the spirit it's a more excellent way is the way of peace many of us have joy but we do not have peace can i tell you peace is better than joy by far if you have the option to choose between peace and joy choose peace one thousand times before you choose joy once you have nothing in life if you do not have peace true wealth is peace true progress is peace he never calls himself the prince of joy but he calls himself the prince of peace rise up on your feet Na kima sunanka kubangi ji na donga kasunanka ubangi ji kai saya na kima sunanka kubangi ji I 
I'd like you to lift your voice and say, as for me and my family and my children's children, we will follow the way of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray. I choose to eat of the tree of life. It's a choice I'm making. I choose it on behalf of my ministry. I choose it on behalf of myself. I make up my mind that the way of the Lord is my way. The way of the Lord is my way. says I beseech thee brethren he's talking to believers that ye offer your bodies a living sacrifice he says holy and acceptable unto God and he calls it your reasonable act of worship or service verse 2 says and do not be conformed do not pattern your life after this world the Greek word aeon the age and the thinking pattern that comes with it the fact that a thing is popular does not mean it is God's way it may be done by everybody but it may be a terrible antichrist formula for life then he says but be ye transformed from the word metamorpho that's where you get the word metamorphosis egg lava pupa adult allow yourself by the word he says that as we behold as in a mirror the glory of God he says we are changed metamorphosed in other words I am born from a system that is antichrist in its context my environmental conditioning makes for me to reject God I have been programmed by birth to consistently eat of the tree of life but I subscribe to a system of renewal that begins to edit my mind begins to transform my life and he says by that I will be able to prove that good that perfect that acceptable will of God the Bible says to set your minds on the things above where Christ is seated you can set your mind I choose to love love is a choice the hallmark of transformation in the kingdom is not power it's not faith is love the depth of your transformation is not spiritual illumination it's not enlightenment is the degree to which the love of Christ has been resident within your person I can know your degree of transformation not by the scarceness and the acquisition of the knowledge you have because knowledge will increase even prophecies will fail there remain at this tree he says faith hope and love he says the greatest is love haven't haven't given them an exegesis on the gifts of the spirit he said behold i show you a more excellent way go ahead and pray in the spirit lord my time has come are you praying koinonia lord this health thing i can't remain sick forever no this SS genotype, this HIV, this cancer. Abarato sobre de shebra da gara bala da bala da bala da bala. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one more prayer point and then we'll begin to minister. I'd like you to say, Lord, grace to not doubt you tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. Don't be a doubter. Lord, 
I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer point in our lives. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, whatever must come upon my life for me to move forward. Hold on. Let it come. And whatever must leave me, I have no loyalty to you. I don't care where you came from. Tonight I part ways with you forever. Lift your voice and pray. Every anointing that must land upon my life today, every grace, every spirit, every dimension, tonight you must come upon my life and everything that must leave me. I'm tired of any luggage upon my destiny. Koinonia, are you praying? Those online, make sure you are praying. Right where you are, at your home, so wherever you are streaming from. Hallelujah. 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 One of the graces I'm trusting God to come upon our life is grace for accelerated advancement. Listen, listen. There are many of us, our pace of movement is slow. You can't look at your life and say, A, B, C has happened within this time. It's not a good testimony. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I must move. Oh, I must move. There must be advancement. The overflows. Make sure you are praying. God is sharing you where you are. Yes, oh God, I'm parting ways forever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. You must contend with prophecy. Oh, this bad luck upon my life must leave. I was not cursed like that. Even if it's a curse, it must go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a war unto them who are at ease in Zion. There is enough function tonight to deliver the result you desire, except you are not interested. If you truly are interested and you are angry enough, Tonight is not the time to spectate and pinch and gist. Anybody does that kind of thing for you tonight, know that the spirit is using that person. You can't come here and waste your time. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for you. I'm about to speak. Please, I want you to pray. Mention every negative thing that you know has happened, patterns in your life that you know must change and say, God arise for me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, it must go over my family.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 Before God deals with our lives, we are going to be praying first and foremost that God will deal with our families. See, let me tell you something. It's not your fault that you came from that family. But it's your fault if you allow what came from there to destroy you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying, oh Koinonia. Believe what I'm saying. I love you too much to not lie to you. There are, there are ties and strongholds that are stopping people from rising. Lift your hands, everybody. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every strong all shall be broken. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Now listen. Don't get too used to the fact that it's just about speaking and then people fall under the anointing and come be serious while prayers are going. Because it is at the word of God they respond. They are listening to me, I'm speaking. But until the command is given, there is nothing to confirm. I want to pray. Many of you will be very surprised. Open up your spirit. It's time for God to visit you and visit your families. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. My God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit pointed arrows. Listen. Pointed arrows. Pointed arrows. And on those arrows I see like papers placed on the arrows containing the names of people, names of families, names of territories. That's what the Lord is showing me right now. And we're going to pray. Listen. The power of God is going to come very strongly upon people. It's, it's not just you but your family are we together and once that happens know that the time has come you pray it and declare that deliverance lift your hands I want to pray now father you brought us here to change lives change testimonies Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is giving me a very crazy instruction. Just lift your left hand. Be stupid. I've started my stupidity. Just follow me quietly. Just lift your left hand up to God and let me do the speaking. You don't have to say anything. Please, all those who I'm going to speak to now that the power of God comes on them, let's begin to have them outside. <sighs> Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now. My God, I'm seeing so many people. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just responding to the Spirit. Lord, you ask us to lift our left hands up. Whatever that means, there are people. I see fire right now. It's going to begin to come on people. Lord, the moment that comes on their family, let there be massive deliverances. At the count of four, that will happen now. One, two, shaka patakata, three, four. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out right now. Inside, outside. I'm seeing the spirit of God. There's fire moving to families. Please let's save time. Shabatakarataya. At the word of the Lord, I place the word of the Lord upon that situation of witchcraft inside outside is over is over is over is over i come with a word of prophecy i prophesy as i've been commanded 
Shakashaka. Miracles, deliverances for families. Enough is enough, oh God. Bring them. There are so many people outside. So many people outside. All the overflows. I see miracles. It's like fire. It's like fire. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. I'm seeing fire. And it's going to come upon the heads of people. And the Lord is saying it is still the deliverance. Lord, where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Right now, all over the congregation. I prophesy it like fire. I see like an eruption. A volcanic eruption coming on the heads of people. The heads of people. Shake it, take it Where you are, the fire will meet you there. Where you are, where you are. The enemy has done this. We command every havoc. We command every havoc. I tell you, I see deliverance for many families. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit. Causing the tragedies. In my family. Be exposed now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. Be exposed. The spirits eating up finances, eating up joy, eating up peace. Kapatatata, ekerato soto basiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see written on this pulpit altars. And I want to pray. An altar is a platform erected by men that grants access to spiritual operations. Altars. 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 At the count of seven, I tell you many people, this is not just families now. One, two, three, four, get ready. Five, six, seven, right now. Right now, right now, right now. Altars, catch fire. Altars, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Shake it, take a poro sotoba. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to call situations. The moment I call them, all those who are victims of it, the power of God will come upon them. Please, we are going to be fast. Right now, I pray the spirit of failure upon people. I'm seeing it, Lord, wherever they are right now, at the count of three, let there be an exposition. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Failure, failure, failure. Causing failure in lives, failure in destinies, failure. In ministries, failure in business. Failure in academics.
every form of failure fire is coming on it right now fire is coming on it right now inside outside no you can't stand it is your deliverance is your word is your prophecy is your word that's why you came failure Lift your hands, everybody. I'm seeing chains. And the Lord is saying, let delay leave my people. That's what I'm hearing. Lord, where are those whose lives have been under one spot? Inside and outside. At the count of three, I'd like you to shout, Jesus, delay is leaving now. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Delay, delay, delay of all kinds, of all kinds. Harato Soto Peketesh. Delay. Delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. Be broken now. Now. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Let her go. I break that chain now. 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 That chain of delay. That chain of delay is broken over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God is breaking delay. Listen. Hallelujah. I've prayed this prayer in this place before. And the Lord is asking me to pray it again. That the destinies of men can be exchanged. So that you are walking. But you are not living your destiny. It's like you are living another person's life. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Please take this prayer seriously. It will do wonders in your life. Lift your hands. Inside and outside. And you watch what will happen now. Lord I pray. My God. I'm telling you, all I'm seeing in this place is fire. Any man here, any woman whose destiny has been exchanged so that the life you are living is not your blueprint right now. Let the exchange, let there be another exchange, another exchange, another exchange. The power of God is coming on people right now, right now, right now. Release their destiny. Release that mother's destiny now. Release that mother's destiny now. My goodness. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. You can't leave another person's script. Every witchcraft. Every manipulation. I curse it now. I curse it now. I curse it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for people with strange movements in their body. I tell you, I feel fire. It's like people are literally bathing in fire. Strange movements. I want to pray. There are many ladies, many mothers under this category. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every stranger, there is a lady, you feel a physical snake, physical snake moving on your body. But right now in Jesus' name, at the count of three, fire from the throne, fire from the throne. I command those spirits roaming around the bodies of God's people. 
One, two, three, go, 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 go. Go now. Lift your bodies. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very powerful prayer for our sisters. The devil will prefer to get one woman to ten men. Because a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, no power will stand. Something is about to jump out of somebody's life. Ay, ay, ay. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Let her go right now. Your destiny must open up in the name of Jesus Christ. Break every chain. Lift your hands, sisters. There are many ladies here under several oppressions. That's why many things are not working. But sisters, as surely as the Lord lives, at the count of three, I'd like you to shout Jesus. You will be surprised to see what will happen to you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Deliverance for you right now. Deliverance. Help them, my goodness. Please help them. Gates. 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 Be broken. Gates. Be broken. Papataya. Gates be broken. Gates be broken. Gates be broken. I'm praying it again. Lift your hands. Ay, ay, ay. Every devil that came here with you must let you go. Lift your hands. There are sisters. There is already a programming on your destiny to fail, a programming to be barren. Who is this God? That can look into time. Wherever they are. At the count of three. May the power of God fish them out. One. Two. Three. Take that fire. Take that fire. Take that fire. I open your destiny. Every lady. Every sister. You are a gate. You are a gate. In the realm of the spirit. Mighty deliverance, mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough is over, is over, is over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Over, over, over. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for the brothers. Lift your hands. Listen, let me tell you. There is a spirit that makes men not to be productive. Hear me. Is a, is, is a mighty deliverance that will happen to many men right now. Pay attention. There are men who are just going old. There's nothing happening in their lives. It's not your fault. There are keys that have been withheld from you. But that thief must be exposed. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Kabaratos. 
ancestry. That's the first thing we are dealing with the brothers. Brothers, lift your hands. I want to pray. Many of you will be surprised to see what happens. Every spirit of ancestry, every spirit of inheritance over any brother here, stopping his advancement at the count of three, some of you will be very surprised. That fire will come on you. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. That fire. Help them, please. Help them. My goodness. Kaparata kata. Brothers are coming under this unction. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Help them. I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. Hallelujah. God does this all the time. And I don't know why God is doing this again. <laughs> ah. If he did it before, he can do it again. Say. Listen, I see something strange happening. Strange happening. Strange happening in the spirit. And I'm seeing the spirit of the Lord moving. And God is saying he's visiting Easternans. Easternans, evil people. That's what I'm seeing. There are altars that need to be broken. Please pay attention. I'm about to pray right now. Wherever they are, always he will do it. You are from the east, get set. Be sensitive. Come on, you shouldn't be doing that. Shaparato kaparatia. Isanans. Lord, wherever they are, it will come like fire on you. You will be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Spirit of God goes to the east. The Spirit of God goes to the east and is bringing deliverance. Deliverance. Strange deliverance. Evil people. Strange deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost is visiting your soil, visiting your foundation, visiting your soil. If it did it before, it could do it again. Same God back then, same God right now. If it did it before. Abia, 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 Abia said, Shakata Barata, Abia, Abia, the Spirit of God is moving across Abia, miracles, breaking foundations. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then. Hallelujah. Many of you wonder why God does these things. There are signs and wonders. He steps into, you will see the testimonies that will come from this thing. Strange visitation. Lift your hands, everybody. Joshua Selman. God, please. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm walking in the spirit and I see a map. And the Lord is asking me to jump upon it. And I see Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. That's what I see. Right now, Lord, at your word, move. Southern Kaduna. Visiting men and women. That's what the spirit of God is saying. I speak it. I place the word of God upon it. Lord, go to that region right now. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna from Saminaka to Zonkua. Everywhere. Move. Let the power of God touch people. Liberty for territories. Liberty for territories. No matter where you are, I'm telling you. 
Southern Kaduna, fire is falling. Fire is falling upon your soil. Upon your soil. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna, that's what I see. Southern Kaduna. Connected to Southern Kaduna, there is a miracle happening. Altars in Southern Kaduna, I come against you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Leave God's people now. of the spirit I found it working in my life is powerful God just calls a territory and everyone is like a digital spiritual system it's not something you just do by guesswork it's the spirit of God the spirit of God the spirit of God God is still touching Kaduna people I'm still hearing it in my spirit God is still touching Kaduna people there's no escape any family tied to any altar comes under fire. Any Kaduna family married to Kaduna living in Kaduna state. hallelujah please lift your hands while still praying I want to pray for students now something miraculous will happen here now I want to pray for students because I see conspiracy to short circuit people's performances I'm going to pray but there is a God in heaven with an all-seeing eye. And there is an unction he can release. I'm going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. You will be surprised to hear the testimonies that will come. The way God is working this night is very supernatural. If the power of God comes upon you, I want you to know that an angel is doing something over your result. Just hear what I'm saying. Hear what I'm saying. I'm speaking by the Spirit. Father, there are people whose results need to be worked upon divinely. And where are they? I see almost 45 people. Right now at the count of three. One. Results. Two. Three. Let the angels begin to move. As they move it will affect you. As the power of God touches you. Your result is being worked upon. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Inside and outside. Results, results. Carry of us. Receiving the mercy of God. Receiving the mercy of God. God upgrading CGPS. Upgrading CGPS. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. CGPS. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Supernaturally. By the creative power of prophecy. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Everything that has refused to let you smile. Hear me. That joy and laughter will not come out of your mouth. I stand tonight in the name of Jesus. I bring that thing under fire. I bring it under fire. I bring it under fire. 
Shake ta ta ta. I bring it under fire. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Just lift your hands and be silent if you can. A miracle is happening. A miracle is happening. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing letters in the spirit. And these are employment letters. Hold on. Just keep your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. You will be surprised. Many of you for you and for your loved ones. The Lord is just asking. Just lift your hands. Father, at least 17 people. Inside, outside, there are up to five people online. Supernatural jobs. May the angels of breakthrough take this word to the people right now. Right now, right now. Right now, receive it. Receive those letters in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. In the spirit. For you, for your loved ones. I don't care what they read. I don't care what they have. We give them jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I see at least four people. Three of them are ladies in the congregation. Your mothers are due for promotion. But they've done everything they know to do. As I'm speaking right now, an anointing will come upon you to signify what he's doing to them. Lord, go ahead. Locate them. Promotion. I force it. I force it now. I force that promotion. Take it. Carry it for your mothers. Whoever is sitting on their promotion, whoever is sitting on their promotion, the judgment of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for the sick. But, um, There are two women I want to pray for here. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Now I know there are many people. Listen. There are two women particularly. One of them the anointing of please no standing for wife. No standing for anybody. If you are not the person um, sit down. If you are not married don't come here. Praise God. Please. The two women by themselves. I'm going to pray. That lady, oh, let me let me let me pray for her. that devil. Let her go. Don't disturb us. Don't waste our time. Out, out now. Out in the name of Jesus. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus, you are living. Release her family. Release her destiny right now. The noise maker. Out you go and don't waste our time. In Jesus' name, I set her free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. We are going to pray for those two women I don't know if there are here uh, two of them here, there's one of them um, I'm seeing one of them the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon her, I don't know who that person is but there's one, please we have such people, we have to be fast if I mention your case once we give you one minute, there's no response we have to move, so that God can help us, please except if they are outside there then that's alright a married woman that need the fruit of the womb we have to pray for them right now praise the lord how many of us are trusting god for healing miracles in our bodies let me see your hands i know many of our mothers are in this category no matter what the case is who is stand up come on down. the power of god will come upon that person please make sure they are married though Please stand up, stand up, madam. It's okay. Uh, madam, madam, it's okay. Please. Oh, 
Madam, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. How many years have you been married? 20 years. 20 years. No child. Look at me. 20 years. 20 years. Madam, look at me. Look at me. It's okay. 20 years of marriage. If, if that woman gave birth to a child by now, that's the other person, right? Wariness. Why am I seeing her? I'm seeing chains around her stomach. You must remove it now. Remove it now. You are a devil of darkness. You hear my voice. Take off that chains now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as barrenness. It's nonsense. When a spirit sits on your stomach, there's no way a child will come. If you like, do whatever. You go to India and come back. You only waste money. But there is a God. Madam, please look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you here with your husband? You came. And you decided to. Where is your husband? Okay. okay, look at me, madam. Do you believe God can give you a child? I believe that's why I came. It's okay, it's okay, madam. Look at me. Look at me, madam. Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray. How many of us believe this woman will come and stand and testify? If you are doubting this, you've not been in Koinonia. Madam, look at me. I want you to shout as loud as you can, I receive. Just shout it. I receive. This God, ba. Let me tell you. That is, that is not working in your life does not mean it's not available. I've told you this thing. You have to believe there are dimensions in God. This woman you see will come and stand here with her child. Why is she here, madam? Why are you here? You are married for how many years? Give her the mic. How many years? Ten years. The anointing is on you. Lay your hands on your stomach. Look at me, madam. Shout, I receive, if you believe. I receive. <laughs> There's something leaving your body now. Let it go. You are a devil. Let her go right now. Something is coming out of your stomach. That's what I'm seeing. That's what has stopped your barrenness. Go and have your child. In the name of Jesus. Go and have your child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let me pray. Madam, make sure you people return with your testimonies. Want to pray. Is your husband here? Husband, please come, sir. I want to pray for you. Marriage is between two people, not three people. I look in the spirit and I'm seeing three people. Somebody is a stranger. In this equation, please come, sir. I'm seeing a third person in the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. I'm seeing a third person in the realm of the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. The devil is a liar. We are going to pray. Please hold your hands together, just in one of your hands. Yes, I want to pray. Please put your hand just Watch what happens to you. <sighs> There is a name, oh. There is a name. There is a name. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. Lift them. There is a name. Let her go. Strangers. Kabataya. What God has joined together and prophesying. That's why I said, hold your hands. Anybody whose hand is not held physically should not be in this equation. Therefore, I prophesy. Any stranger, release what you are put in her stomach now. I'm seeing a snake. That's what I see in the spirit. I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Kaparatakaya. 
Marriage was done legally. Therefore, you are an illegal occupant. Release her now. Let there be miracle children. Miracle children. I'm seeing a lady in the crowd. You are standing in for your sister who has been married for five years. Who is that? I want to pray for that person. Five years. Your sister has been married five years. No child. No child. You are the one? Where is she? What's her name? Deborah. Where is she? She's in How many years? Five years. No child. No child. My brother, six years. And you, the devil, wants to give you four years. I will cancel it. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Will you come and change my destiny? My destiny today. come out at will. What's it? Hold on, hold on. Coordinate yourself. Who is this? Hold on, hold on. Leave them, leave them. It's okay. Victor, leave her. It's okay. Calm down. How many years? Nine years. Huh? Nine years. Where is she? She's in Adrembochi. Kikiamata. Is that the same we Amen. Why are you here, my dear? She has been having miscarriages. For how many years? Yes. Three years. Mm. Her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? Did you hear what I said? I said her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? The man is the head of the family. See? This thing is being done by an anointing. It's not, it's not, it's not joke. It's an anointing. Look at me. Listen, every lady, place your hand on your womb. I want to pray for you. Just, just place your hand and leave it there. Hold on, not not for the brothers. Brothers, you don't have a womb. Just calm down. I know I'm praying for the sisters. That's why I'm praying. Because you see, listen, <laughs> just follow what I'm doing. You will be surprised to see what will happen. The Bible, the Bible does not allow you to test whether you are pregnant first before you marry. Is that true? So there is no way you know. You just marry and then find out it's a disaster. For a man, a family to pay the price, pay dowry, and get married, and then there's that nonsense. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Let's attack it in advance. If you care for the prayer, lay your hands. For some of you, God is saving you years of misery. I'm seeing a number 21, and this is at least 21 people and families involved. Father, visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. I'm praying a miracle is happening to your womb. Visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. Right now, everything that wants to plant barrenness in your stomach, for every lady here and those watching online, I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. Hold that baby. You, Ejimi, please give her that child. Just hold her so she doesn't fall. Just hold that baby. You are holding this child as a prophetic symbolism for your sister, for you when you get married, and for every other person, and for two other people who are in the congregation. This prophecy is connecting them. Where are they, oh God? Where are they, oh God? The anointing of the Spirit will locate them now. Right now, two of them in the congregation for this miracle. For this miracle. 
for this miracle. Daddy, sir, please let me talk to you. Just give a few minutes. You and the madam close to you. Mommy, please come. You are an usher, but you are praying. Come. Let God answer your prayers. This lady is talking to the Lord. What was the issue? It's my sister. You are asking the Lord to do what? Yes, sir. She has put to bed in time. But none of them is alive. Because I'm seeing a spirit. As soon as she's giving birth, this is like an antelope. It eats the children. As in, it's the child. Sometimes most of the children will grow. Nine months, you give birth. Then they will last for only a few minutes and they will die. Hold my hands. Where is she? Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Where is she? What's her name? Ladi. Ladi. Ladi will speak to you. Lay your hand on your stomach. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this, this, this frustration is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is, I want to pray for you. Mama, good evening, ma. Just please stand up. Who is the stubborn child that you want God to touch? Lift his picture up. Victor, Victor, Victor. This is your number one prayer. The one you want to marry. Where is the person? The one you want a job for that graduated. Job, job. The one that graduated. The graduate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Henry. Mama, this is to tell you that God knows your situation. I hear what I'm saying. Yes, sir. This boy needs to be prayed for. So yes. that this boy, so that they will not go and lock him in police station. Yeah? This, I don't know who the boy is, but... Let it stop on, sir. That's what I'm saying, madam. It's okay. You are here for God to visit you. Amen. Amen. Who is Nonso? Nonso. Nonso. I'm hearing the name Nonso. We are going to pray. Nonso. Mama. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. Eh? That is true. Solomon, you want to marry? He's want... planning for his wedding, sir. Okay, it's alright. We'll, we'll pray for him. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I pray for you. You came here expecting the power of God to touch exactly. you. Exactly. Huh? Yes, sir. Mama, do you want the pain in your body to stop? Yes, sir. You wake yes, up in the Lord. morning and there's severe yes, pain in your Lord. back. Sir, you know about this thing. I know, sir. True. And the Lord is going to do a great miracle for Mama. Amen. Because Mama, I'm seeing you. You can't wash for long. Yes, sir. You bend down to wash, and your back is pain. Yes, Thank you, Father. In the I name of that. Jesus Christ, the Lord who has seen you is going to do a miracle Amen. for you. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Help, Mama, Thank you, in Father. Jesus' name. Thank you. Please, don't. who is this? Eh? No, so, my friend, are you not so? Help the boy, his trouser is removing. Who is that? Who brought him out? Maybe we should help him now. <laughs> Sir, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? The proprietor of his school. Pastor, I'm a civil engineer by training. You own a school? Yes, sir. Primary school? Nursery and primary. Nursery and primary? Yes, sir. You've been afraid to start the secondary school? Seriously, sir. Is that true? I've been afraid. Because what is happening in the primary, up and down, up and down, people are taking their children out of your school. And they are owing money. And they are owing money. And you are trusting God for a miracle. Because you too, you need a lot of money now. As you are standing here like this, you need money. Very correct, sir. And this money is much. Don't collect loan. Don't collect loan. Loan is a way to die. 
time in this day. Don't call anyone. Sir, I want to pray for you. One of the things you are going to start seeing as you minister the word is breakthrough. You will start seeing strange breakthroughs. Amen. In the lives of people. Amen. And then we want to pray for your school, sir. Things are going down. What you need is not money. What you need is very qualified teachers who are really willing to teach. Because the people there, they will come today, a few months, they want to leave. And when they, you know, they want, I will have to pray for you. The devil is a liar. Please lift your hands, sir. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing for speed come upon you, sir. Supernatural speed in the name of Jesus Christ. Grace and speed for you. Mama, God bless you. Please, who is this? Please, if we have not called your case, just be patient. We are going to pray for the sick now. Why is Mama here? Mommy, please come. Huh? Your son's name is Nonso. What's your name? Nonso. From where? When I'm from state. You are a student here? No. Dark. Who is Shidi? I'm hearing the name Shidi. 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 Let me pray for the person now. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, what you need, this one is not, I'm not even getting any word for your son or so. What God is saying, I should prophesy to you, is that he's bringing restoration to your life. God is saying, I should tell you, you see that song that I sang at the beginning of the meeting? Yes, we are I'm speaking how, sir, it's finished. That's what God is saying, I should tell you, that he's going to bring restoration to your life. Supernatural restoration right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold my hands. I'm not getting any prophetic word for you. But in the name of Jesus, may God step in and do a miracle for you. Come, come and get something. You need to pray. Huh? You need academic breakthrough. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Please, why are these people here? Huh? John. You are serving in Musa. Have you started serving? Yes. In the place where? State books. Father, give him favor. As you go, let there be favor in Jesus' name. Amen. You are what? John. John. From where? Zaria. I said, Sam, Father John. But since you have come out, let me pray for you. Yeah? Lay your hands on your chest. You love God? Okay. John. John, look at me. God can give you a new beginning. You hear what I'm saying? It's when I make altar call, John, run and join them. Huh? I'm going to pray for you, but that statement you made is not true. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you see, you have to be serious with God. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. She's older than she actually is. Huh? And there is a there is there is a medical condition. This is a feminine thing that I'm seeing that is responsible for this. Um Kinaji, how's that? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, Turen Shima, you, you understand English. I'm seeing happy birthday on top of you, and I'm seeing 50 years. How old are you? Shakaran Kina. Upon me on 66 1966 How old is that? This woman is 50 but she's looking like 70. The devil is a liar. Huh? I'm seeing something. It's not something I can say in the open. But you need to be healed. And um, this thing started happening to you since soon you were about 17. Yes, yes about 17 years this thing started this is a serious woman issue this is women talk father we cancel this nonsense in the name of jesus christ it must live in jesus name beginning from today experience the goodness of god in jesus name may the lord favor you too in jesus name we want to pray for the sick now 
please this is our miracle service bear with us we have to deal with these things you see that there are so many there are so many situations we are praying everyone you can be seated if you can or stand we are soon going to be done but I want us to pray are we together say after me inside and outside in the name of Jesus please say it like you are serious in the name of Jesus I declare that every closed gate standing before my destiny under this corporate anointing swing open now lift your voice and begin to pray please we are not just whiling away time pray participate in the prayer some of us that's what is that's what is affecting our lives every gate every gate every gate every gate Over my finances, over every area of my life, be open now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Prayer point number two I will still prophesy it upon your life. Say in the name of Jesus, I call forth by the power of prayer every helper who will give me access to resources, to opportunities, and to new levels. I call them into my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. This is a powerful prayer. It's a very powerful prayer. Hallelujah. 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 I'd like you to prophesy and say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. As I enter these ember months, I declare that the mystery of divine preservation is upon my life no death no accident no bad news lift your voice and cancel bad news make sure you are praying some of you are just looking pray it's a very serious prayer point no bad news I speak upon my life the mystery of divine exemption. Rekete koto shoto koto pakata. In rekete kete 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 kete. Rekete kapakata pakata pakata. Rakata kata kata barada baraka to shoto. In braka to shata.
Supernatural preservation. Out. Shabaka para to posoto pregnant. No arrow of witchcraft is permitted to fly over my life. Outside, outside, don't be tired. You're working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Before we pray on the request, I'd like you to pray and say, In the name of Jesus, Abba. Now, let's be serious. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. September, September. October. October, November, November. December. Hear my voice. I speak to you. Deliver to my life. Only blessings. No pain. No sorrow. No regrets. Go ahead and prophesy. Release power to your future. Release power to September. You shut your mouth. You shut your destiny. Release power to September. Release power to October. Release power to November. December. No plane crash. No bus crash. No armed robbery. No terrorism. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus I declare A covering Over me And my family members Wherever they are The seal of the blood Exempts them from tragedy Listen I shared some months ago Hold on I shared some months ago a vision that the Lord showed me. I'm not one person who will stand and say, I saw this. Sometimes I see these things. I just pray. But it was upon my spirit and I said it. Remember, I spoke about the month of September. Everything you see us do here is prophetic. As you speak, it looks like you are joking. But you are releasing power to your future. He said, declares thou that he might be justified. Hast thou commanded thy morning? You don't sit down and it delivers everything to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say in the name of Jesus. The seal of the blood 
is upon my life and my family members. Therefore, every spirit of death and loss and disaster must pass over my life and my family. Lift your voice and pray. No, not upon my life. Not upon my loved ones. They are sealed by the mystery of the blood. No accident. No accident. No death. No obituary. No plane crash. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to turn your request to testimonies. Go ahead. All those online, follow us. We are praying. You submitted your requests and we are praying. Every request. Oh God, you have produced testimonies. Shaba katata. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. Let there be miracles, testimonies, breakthroughs. Turn around impossible situations, oh God. Let the body come back to children. Let the poor return rich. Let the captive be set free. Let sinners come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Let your prayers be delivered. Let the sick be healed. Let jobless people return to jobs. Building projects completed. Spiritual lives be fired. Pray, pray. I'm going to prophesy upon this request and I want us to agree with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, I use this as a point of contact. Lord, there are so many requests here representing the challenges in people's lives. Some for jobs, some for marriages, some for children. Some for breakthroughs. Some for study um, scholarships. Others for help. Others for reconciliation. Others for souls. Others for financial prosperity and breakthrough. Others for restoration. Some for deliverance. Others for healing. Lord, I pray in the name that is above all names. We have a covenant of answered prayers with you. Therefore, Lord, arise as a mighty man. And turn every prayer request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for all those who have sent their requests on Facebook, on Twitter, on any other platform. Lord, in the name of Jesus, give them strange visitations. Strange visitations from tonight. Strange visitations. And Lord, for every request that made it to this altar, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I pray, answer everyone in the name of Jesus. Turn every request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our time is gone. I really apologize. Let me prophesy over our lives. Do you know why prophecy is very powerful? Most of the testimonies that you hear, listen, most of the testimonies that you hear are as a result of these prophetic words. Are we together? There are needs that God may not reveal and time may not permit to be able to extensively deal with. However, prophecy is powerful. It says in Numbers chapter 6 how that the priest will bless them and speak upon 
their life. There is something about a prophetic word coming upon your life. Those who know this, that is their edge in the spirit, have received it and it has produced dramatic results in their lives. Those who are careless about it like they are about many other things, never really get to receive anything. Let me tell you, even if it's an impartation, even if it's a dimension of breakthrough, for as long as you stepped your feet here, and for all the thousands following us online, connect, connect. Distance is no barrier in the spirit. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. And you have turned my sorrow into joy. I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Joy like you have never experienced from January till now. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Joy like you have never experienced. Experience it in the name of Jesus. Hear me. I speak to your hands. Whoever is not doing anything here. Because God said be fruitful. I don't care whether it's a job. A business. I don't care whether you are a student. A graduate. A retiree. Whoever is having an idle hand. Between now and September miracle service. I put something in your hand. I put something in your hand. I put something in your hand. In the name of Jesus. Not something that will mock you. Something that will bring results. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I put pressure on your destiny helpers. I put pressure on them. May they respond to you. I put pressure on their spirits. May they arise and help you. May they arise and help you. Hallelujah. Any situation in your life that is a recurrent decimal, it comes as though the breakthrough is coming, then the situation repeats itself. I prophesy no more. No more. No more. No more. In the name of Jesus, no more. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Listen. Someone is speaking here like Mary. And saying, how shall these things be? Lord, I, is it true that you will turn my life? I stand in the name of Jesus and I pray. A turn around that will surprise you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A dramatic turn around. A dramatic turn around. Hallelujah. 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 In the last one month of my life, God has brought breakthroughs and things to my life that I have always believed God. But there is something God can do in your life that will make you fear Him. Not just believe Him. I prophesy to someone here. In the name that is above all names. That flight in the spirit that God can take a man. And bring acceleration and not just surprise you but even make you fear. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone in business here. And it's no diving. Things are not happening. You turn everywhere. You've done everything you know to do. You need the prophetic. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. I add that prophetic dimension to your business. Every dream that is still on paper. No finances. No grace to bring it out of paper. You have been writing things for donkey years. But the grace to put it at work, I declare between now and next next month's miracle service, bring evidence, bring evidence, bring evidence, bring results, bring results in the name of Jesus. Anyone called jobless in this place, that you have done everything to do, including giving money to people, and they have not brought jobs to you. I don't know how God will do it. But this mountain mover. 
that can shake every mountain. I pray, may he give you not just a job, a miracle job. Miracle job. Hallelujah. Every family here that is stuck in one place, you try to rise, something brings you down. You try to rise, something brings you down. Now I prophesy to you the grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The grace for rising. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Every embargo of bad luck upon your life. It works for others until it gets to your point and people change their mind. I declare in the name of Jesus in a way you have never seen favor and help. May you experience that throughout the month of September. <laughs> Hallelujah. A dimension of anointing. A dimension of wisdom that you have never seen. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. Receive wisdom in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you. Everything that needs to be broken in your life. Habits and encumbrances that tie you down. I command that today is their barrier. Today is their barrier. Today is their barrier. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy for someone who has never stood here to testify. In the name of Jesus. Whatever has stopped you from climbing this altar to testify. I curse that spirit right now. 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 Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. I want to speak to you. Everything that makes money run away from your hands. Money has a spirit. You have obeyed kingdom laws, but this thing is not just coming. You would try and labor and labor and nothing will come. These hands that are stretched towards me, as I stretch my hands back to you, by the mystery of divine supply, may you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold something you have never held in your life before. May you hold an amount you have never held in your life before. Hallelujah. Two more prayers and we are done. I pray for your spiritual life. Everything that is alive grows. If you are not growing spiritually, something is wrong. And the measure, there are two indices to measure your spiritual growth. Number one, your degree of conformity to the image of the Christ. Number two, your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom alongside their operation. How to make them produce consistently. I pray for you this month as we round up this month into the next month keys that your hands have never held spiritually hold them right now in jesus name keys mysteries that you have not known or mysteries you have had and have not been able to handle may god give it to you in the name of jesus hallelujah finally this is the prayer that i pray for people with all my heart he said you shall anoint, listen, you shall anoint Aaron and his sons, right? And then he say, you shall take some of your honor and put upon him. How do you take honor and put upon him? Honor, the spiritual mystery that turns a man to a celebrity, not by working it. Honor is when men have the capacity to discern and reward what you represent. Hallelujah. I was coming from Abuja today and I stopped in Kaduna at a particular computer outfit just to buy, to quickly buy a laptop and proceed. And as soon as I stepped there, I entered, I saw all of them looking at me. They started jumping as if it was a crusade. Apostle Joshua Selman, I was so embarrassed. They ran, went and called their father, the owner of the place, uh, they call it Micro Manor in, in, in Kaduna. You know, and they were jumping and they looked, they said, ah, 
we, you have been blessed by your teachings you know God has lifted us you can imagine the things that have happened and they said which laptop are you buying and all of that and I looked at them I had to just run away and go out because I didn't want a situation where they are doing business they carry something that is so costly and key. let me tell you honor is more than money oh. don't be deceived money is very finite honor is when men rise up to solve your problems for you they rise up and make it their business to see you succeed may somebody here receive that mantle may somebody here receive that mantle may a pastor here receive that mantle may a businessman receive that mantle strange honor strange honor strange honor strange honor strange honor strange honor hallelujah when you are minding your business and some people are talking and say how do we bless this lady as if they owe you they get up and plan governmental figures discussing how to lift you and people say what is the big deal there is a big deal he's a mantle Please, I want to pray it finally. I know, I know that our time is gone. But I want you to receive this thing. There are people here carrying it bodily. When you carry it, it speaks. See, let me tell you. The true proof of sonship is a replication of grace. A replication of grace. A replication that you are carrying something you know. The devil knows and heaven knows that this is like an address. It will cause good things to look for you. I want to pray for you. Honor makes your life easy. Otherwise, you will suffer for anything. Everything. You are in trouble. You pay for it alone. There is a mystery of honor. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. I pray for you. My God, in the name of Jesus, I pray for your people in this great house. You have placed your mantle of honor upon this house and by grace upon my life. I'm praying right now everyone under the sound of my voice ah, yeah, 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 yeah. in a dimension you have never seen or for those of you who have seen a measure of it in a higher dimension receive that mantle of honor 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 Keep standing everybody. I want to make an altar call now. Please no moving around. Let's honor what God is doing. No sitting down. Just five minutes and we're done. Thank you so much for your patience. We stretched the time quite. Um, but I think that it's worth it. If you pay that much price and you come back with tear some testimonies, it's a wise baguette. There are still people under the anointing. God is still doing things. And even after the service, God is still going to be touching people. But very quickly, I want to make a call. There are people outside all the overflows, any of them. And there are people following us online. You are saying, man of God, I heard you speak. And whilst you spoke, the Holy Spirit convicted my heart and told me it's time to make a commitment or a rededication. For some of you, this is your first time making a genuine decision for Jesus. Others, you have made that decision, but you are rededicating yourself. Wherever you are, please make your way to the front. Make sure that you do not leave this place without making that decision. God bless you. There are people coming. God bless you. God bless you. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. God bless you, young and old. Clear the way for them. Please, if you are coming from outside, I want you to save time. Double up, hurry up and come. God bless you. Palana Bakasuchi Ata. Alana Bakasuchi Ata. Keep coming. Alana Bakasuchi Ata. Keep coming quickly, please. hold on thank you so much for coming men and women people who love god listen no matter what has happened in your life no matter what you have done i don't want you to stand here feeling guilty rebels don't come to god they run away from god 
so that you are here in his presence some of you are rededicating your life some of you are doing so for the first time it doesn't matter what category i want you to lift your right hand please if you are still coming join them very quickly lift your right hand and say after me very clearly you are not reciting a poem say lord jesus i love you and i believe in you that you died for me to prove your love for me and now i give my heart to you to prove my love for you i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that i'm above sin i'm above satan i'm above the flesh in the name of jesus from today i declare that i have the life of god i'm a child of god my name is in the lamb's book of life and i am victorious in the name of jesus keep your hands lifted please father thank you for this once you have drawn them by your wisdom let today be the beginning of of great days in their lives in the name of jesus christ i pray that everything they have laid at your altar will remain there and never cling to their lives again open them up to a new dimension of life in the name of jesus christ holy spirit i ask that you come into the lives of every one of these precious people in the name of jesus use them for your glory give them tearful testimonies in the name of jesus i pray amen thank you so much for making this decision now i'd like you to follow this gentleman and the lady waving their hands they will have your details in a minute and then you'll be back dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye